I had no idea. Or once I knew the information, it would open the door for conversations. And I was able to actually find out what was really happening. So after that, I was having conversations left and right. As I went to college, I soon learned that this was not what happens in relationships that are good for you. And so I really learned the value of having a good support system around you, of people who actually really care about you. It wasn't the old guy sitting behind a computer screen pretending to be young and catfish me. It was a 23 year old man and I was 16. It was my friend who said, Lucy, he's grooming you. So that's what kept me from speaking up about it for so long. You know, we had some of the toughest girls on our property that had been through some of the toughest struggles with being trafficked with being abused, with being kidnapped, and they were somebody totally different with the horses. And you were able to find comfort by comforting the horse. That's what survivors need, is somebody just to walk with us, somebody to sit in the dirt with them and just be present. We're gonna cover the nature of the problem of child trafficking, what our organizations are doing about it, and we're gonna finish up with what you can do about it. It starts to become common sense once you've kind of dug through it, but like you said, until you know what you're looking for, you may not pick up on it. Because man, do we ever need law enforcement more now than ever. We need justice to be upheld. We need victims to know that they are not alone, that they have somebody out there fighting for them and they're going to make sure that those perpetrators, those predators, suffer the consequences for their behavior. If we're not aware of how predators are gaining access to our youth, it's through the smartphones, it's through social media, it's through internet access to where 88% of the time now, sex traffic is internet based. So it's not something that we see. And if we don't see it, then therefore we can't believe that it's happening. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children saw a near 100% increase in child exploitation online. 41.7 million reports in one year. They cannot keep up. These are the reported cases. Guys, we got some work to do. We got some light to shine on our babies and save them. What I'm advocating for is that you get aware of the tactics and you realize if this is happening to you, now you have the power to put that predator in their place. It's vitally important that parents know who's with their child all day, every day, and what's happening. We focus on trauma-informed strategies. When you're reacting, you're too late. That's already happened, the damage is done. Don't give up and you go and find the champion that's gonna elevate your voice. He goes to schools, he participates as an individual, he's totally engaging to the kids and he's got your back. So, Attaboy, Justin! Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you.